Since 1927, when it opened in Greenwich Village, the Strand Bookstore has been a New York City institution, referred to by some as the largest bookstore in the world, a center for literary learning, and a cultural touchstone that has endured for more than 90 years. And now the city wants to officially designate its location at Broadway and 12th Street, where it's been for more than 60 years, a New York City landmark, calling it architecturally significant. There's just one problem. All we want to do is to be left alone. Nancy Bass Wyden, the owner of the Strand and its building, doesn't want the honor, dead set against it, and today went before the city's Landmarks Preservation Commission to tell him it's an honor she can't afford. We are at a point where we cannot absorb any unnecessary expenses. She says the restrictions and regulations required of landmark buildings to conform to code could be a financial hardship for her and imperil the jobs of her more than 200 employees. Our margins are small and wages are only increasing. <clears throat> We operate in a fragile environment. The owner of the Strand says she's not asking the city for a handout, just to keep their hands off her store. Please do not destroy the Strand. Loyal customers who've been asked to support her effort see it both ways. I love the idea of it being landmarked, but I also <laughs> respect how they've managed the Strand for 100 years and would hate to see that change. So would the owner, who is not honored by the honor. In Greenwich Village, Scott Rappaport, CBS2 News. The Landmarks Preservation Commission says it will have a second hearing on this matter before a final decision is made.